Hello everyone, and welcome to Let's Play Hogwarts Legacy. I'm very excited to go into this one. I played around with it already a little bit on release date. Um, but I want to play around with it some more and actually record it so you guys can sort of see it too. As you can see here, I've kind of been playing around with it as well. Basically getting through the intro. So I don't know too much yet about the open world experience. Mostly just been wandering Hogwarts. But we are going to create a new character. <laughs> and uh, honestly, we're just gonna go with whatever house he gives us. So I'm not really sure. I mean, you saw which choice I made uh, for my first character. That was Ravenclaw because, well, <laughs> I think like every single test I take tells me I should be in Ravenclaw. And that's basically because of my creative way of thinking. I'm not necessarily smart, but I am creative. <laughs> Anyways, um, Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. We are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry as a fifth year student. Term begins on the 1st of September. Preliminary supplies have been collected for you and will accompany you on your journey to the castle. As you may be aware, the degree for the reasonable restriction of under aged. Sorcery prohibits the use of magic by those under the age of 17 outside of school. However, due to your unique circumstances, the Ministry has graciously agreed to allow Professor... Oh god. <laughs> Elisa Fig. I am so bad at names. I, I butchered that, didn't I? Anyways, to help you own your spellcasting before escorting you from London to the castle for the start of the term. Feast. Start of the term feast. <laughs> Sorry, I cannot read. And the sorting ceremony. Yours sincerely, M. Weasley. Which is Professor Weasley. Deputy, Deputy Headmistress. I am so bad at reading. Okay, start game. Oh god, I'm gonna need to see my controller. <laughs> if you hear controller noise in the background, I'm sorry. I'm gonna need to see my controller for this. Okay, so we can already, I guess, use this to figure out what our character kind of looks like. I mean, that's the closest I can get from this menu. Okay, let's see. Mm. For the other one, I went from this one because I felt like it was more like my face, but I'm just gonna just cycle through. Real quick, and then we'll decide. I mean, this one is kind of... Okay, too, I guess. I mean, my, in my opinion, they're all pretty much okay, but you know. Certain looks definitely. I like this face. This face is cute. Are we just gonna do a random face and a random character? I think we are. Glasses. Are you gonna do glasses? <laughs> no, okay, we won't do glasses. Um. We can make her really pale, or just normal. I think we're gonna go just normal. I think that's fine. Okay, hairstyles. There we go. This is very fun already. <laughs> just to the uh, character creator, yes. I'm just gonna select a few random hairstyles and then just decide. I like this one. This one's kind of cute. Oh. I like this one too. <laughs> great. This is great. I love that you can also just select the hairstyles, um, you know, for male characters and the female characters because, you know, I've got short hair. So <laughs> I'm glad that you've been able to do that. But you don't want to choose this one because it's more like how my front hair kind of is like, but I don't know. Again, we're going for a random character here, so. Uh, <laughs> this one's pretty cool too. This one really reminds me of like how old pilots used to look. Kind of that vibe. I like this hairstyle. Oh, that's so cute. Little bangs. That's cute. This one's cool too. And a braid. I like braids. I used to have braids when I was a kid. And when I still had long hair. <laughs> you know what? Let's just go for the braid. Yeah, let's just go for it. Wait, hair color. We can still change the hair color. This is the fun part. If you move all the way here, 
got freaking pink hair. This really reminds me of uh, Brooklyn. This one reminds me of Brooklyn from uh, Camp Cretaceous. Might just go with that one, just because it's fun. Ooh, purple. Dark purple. And green. Oh, I like this green. <laughs> it's pretty cool. <laughs> Wait, hold on. This color reminds me of Shigaraki. <laughs> okay. Uh, I like this color too. It's like very dark blue. I like it. I might go with that one. Unless we go for a more natural hair color. <laughs> Which we could, by all means, but... White. <laughs> this is completely white. It's fun. I don't know which one we're going for. I think the the pink one looked really good on her. Or this red one looks really good on her too. This pink one looks really good. I think we're going for this one. Just because we can. Alright. Scars. That's the fun part. We can have her look like a total badass. I love how the scars look like they have depth. Like, that's really cool. It's so cool. For my other character, I'm pretty sure I used this one. This scar. I still like it the best, though. <laughs> but let's go for just a little scar for her, I think. Uh, complexion. How much will that change? Hmm. Oh, it's like, okay. It's basically your cheeks. Oh, I did not mean to go that far. <laughs> oh wow, we can have her look very tired. Actually, I like this. Slightly, like, below her eyes. Making her look a little tired. I like that. Okay, freckles and stuff. Um, she does look cute with a little bit of freckles. For my other character, I'm pretty sure, yeah, I used this one. Because, <laughs> like, I tried to make the other character look like like me a little bit, right? And I have, like, those moles, like, on one side of my face. So I was like, yeah, okay, that one looks most like me. Um, I mean, this would too, because I also have one somewhere on my forehead. Somewhere. <laughs> Let's just, just, just do freckles for her. I cannot talk. No! <laughs> it's over here. I'm an idiot. Okay, um, eye colors. You have some supernatural eye colors too, I believe, more at the end. And these are some pretty cool, like, diverse eye colors too. Pretty sure you had, like, purple eyes somewhere. I want to use those. Oh, yes, purple. <laughs> Looks very cool. But we're just checking the others too. More pink. <laughs> no, we're going for purple. It kind of makes them pop. The blue and green ones too, not gonna lie. Not purple. There. Yeah. No. Purple. Definitely. Okay, so her eyebrows. It's so fun that you can legitimately just change anything. She looks serious with the, those eyebrows. A little bit scared here. <laughs> we can just make her look scared. That's kind of funny, actually. Oh, I like these. Look at that. They have like the little like gap on that one side. That's cool. Oh, this one is on the other side. That's cool. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Let's, uh... <laughs> Let's go with the scared ones. <laughs> no, I don't know. I think the little bit more the serious ones look better on her. Let's go for this one. And then the color. We could make it the same as her hair color. 
eyebrow a little bit darker. I usually like to go a little bit darker with the eyebrows. I don't know why. But I think for her, maybe the same color would work better, actually. Huh. Okay, well, next. Voice one. That was quite something. <laughs> we can. Okay, that's great. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Yeah, okay. Uh, pitch. For my other character, I use this one. Student, but I could very well be able to help you. I don't know, it this was one. wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Let's just go normal. To get to uh, let's just do normal here too. For the other one, I went with easy because I was like, you know what? Let's start off easy, but let's go normal here. And eventually, I might be able to do a hard uh, playthrough. Oh. I'm gonna call her Amira, and then last name, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Hmm. Is there like a, like, a cute sort of name that's related to pink? Let me Google real quick, right? Let, let me just, let me just see if there's anything. Pastel, I'm pretty sure that's one of the more well-known pinks. Oh, I cannot type. There, that's how you type it, right? <laughs> Doubting myself now because I was misspelling at first. Okay, and we are a witch. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, Chase Wilthurman, the dormitory. No, that's fine. This is fine. <laughs> Reminds me of that meme. This is fine. <laughs> All right. Ah, it appears we are almost ready to depart. Yay. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we were. Uh, have, sure. Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your this own. This dude is so nice. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me before the time begins. Well, we'll see. Oh, <laughs> Not that I don't already know. Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> gave quite the fright to some theatre goers in the West End. <laughs> Wait, so you it's did that in front of Muggles? <laughs> when I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eliazar. Of course. Why don't we speak on route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Yes. Wonderful idea. As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Come right along. Ages since I've been the to the castle. More Would be good to see the old. Oh, the owl's so cute. It's a barn owl. So cute. This looks funny. <laughs> Just like a carriage without anything in front. <laughs> well, there actually is. You just can't see them. It is London. You know, I've actually been to London multiple times. It's a pretty nice city. Very busy, though. There are a lot of people there. But it's pretty nice. There's a lot of culture. Oh, that was a little... lag. <laughs> Hope that's not going to be an issue while recording. Without the recordings, it's not an issue at all. But... <laughs> With recordings, I'm not too sure. Board key games! Nice. Wizarding World. According to the test on the Wizarding World website, I do belong in Ravenclaw as well. <laughs> it's funny. Look at the bar now, it's so cute. Just barely. <laughs> and who is your traveling companion? A new student. Yeah, a new student. Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. Great. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. Of course. As the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. 
Well, would be nice. you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. <laughs> Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably he's so modest. and gifted wizard. It's funny. The Mr. Osric like a... is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the ministry. I <laughs> guess so, if you're able to flatter people. Have yeah, you you get on their good sides, I guess. Red Rocks! Goblin I Rebellion. Have... Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've oh. yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, uh -oh. I believe he is a significant threat. Um, guys? And it was your wife, <laughs> there's Elizabeth, a dragon, <laughs> who alerted me to his activities months ago. I think. Miriam. How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Interesting. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot oh, Interesting. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's the glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Oh, it's definitely glowing, all right. <laughs> oh. Merlin's beard. How did you wait? We did. Oh. Wow, that's not good. He just, he just got eaten. Yeah, he got eaten. We witnessed death. <sighs> Ouch. Oh, that's so cool, though. Oof. Oh, grab it. Grab it, dudes. Good. <laughs> oh, a squirrel. Cute. Are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. Are you alright? Oh, never mind. I'm not fine. Perhaps a bit. Take this. It's Wiganwell potion. That stuff will rot you in a second. Okay, press down and heal. I need to remind- I need to remember that. Because I kind of completely forgot about that in my other playthrough. I just kind of went what without happened? potions. Thus oh, far, it worked out. I can't believe he- Yeah, he got eaten. What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never- Yeah, he <laughs> seemed a bit weird. So, oh my. where are we? I'm not sure. Ooh. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I have a feeling she's gonna be Hufflepuff, like but I'm just gonna go with whatever the sorting act tells me it. to. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. Yeah. Oh, look at that skull. Reminds me of a freaking Wendigo. <laughs> no, it's just a, a deer or some kind, but still. Oh, this looks so cool, honestly. I love how this looks. How far did that bookie take us? Farther from London than the carriage traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, those roots. Do you think the walkie was meant to lead us there? I do. That's interesting. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. Yeah, I'd assume and so. I, I didn't set a timer. I'm an idiot. And now George died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. Yeah, if probably. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Me too. Good. 
Let's go. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. I love going on adventures. Let's go. Mind your step. Mind your step and we're running. Where do you suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long forgotten form of ancient magic. I don't want to talk magic. over them too much. Yes, a powerful <laughs> magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Hogwarts Castle was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, oh, there's the path down below. This way. Oh, right over there. Cool. But sir, why would your wife search <laughs> you? Wow, he's fast. Lost magic. Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. <laughs> I just landed on top of the pot. Oh, hello. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. Can I already? No, I cannot. Okay, well. Ooh. Excellent. Okay, yes, we know. I know. I've already been through this sort of chapter part. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Should have waited two seconds. <laughs> Was a bit rougher than I'd expected. <laughs> yeah. Pew. I love that. Pew. Pew. Your one works improving with every cast. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> Don't mind the collateral damage I'm causing. <laughs> well, not really. I'm just breaking pods, but still. Oh, jeez. Uh, up there. Up. Oh, you mean? Okay, we're gonna climb over there. Got it. We're close now, it's just a You Don't mind me blasting bots right next to you. It's completely safe. Oh, it sure is windy here. Jeez. Steady yourself! I I am, don't worry. Repero. That's so cool. Look at that. Oh, that's so cool! Almost there. Yeah. Pew. 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 That's very far away. We have a quite some reach, actually. This is cool. Someone have built this here. I suspect they valued their privacy. That port key led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Anything that seems out of place, huh? Well, let's start with the Muriel. Oh, yeah, I know. Let's start with the Muriel. Professor, it's a mural of some kind. Perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. Oh, that's really cool. It has something to do with, like, astronomy. Stars. <laughs> something to do with stars. I don't know if I pronounced astronomy correctly. Um, I'm thinking I did, but, you know. You never know. I'm just a random Dutch person. Okay, hello. What are you? Professor, this statue... This may have been his home. Why would you build a statue of yourself inside of your own home? I mean, I guess if you have the money and the resources, I guess some people might like it, but I, I don't know. I would just be disturbed by seeing a, just a statue version of myself every single day. I would not want that in my home. It would just scare me. 
that enchanted crystallized stone again. But oh, what could it hello. Be What's this? Professor Fig! There's a room! Professor, are you coming? Oh, yeah, he is. He's fast. My goodness, he's sonic. How odd. Right? Why would someone have conjured that? <laughs> what is up with her reflection? Here? Why is there How just a random stick on her back or something? What room? I don't see anything. Oh, let's that go glow again, like the glow on the port key container. Well, can we? Yes, we can interact. What in Merlin's name? Um, Godric's heart. <laughs> Godric's Where heart. I don't believe it. I love the. The words he comes up with well, doesn't really come up with. I mean, in the listening world, I suppose these are normal words. But like when he's surprised, it reminds me of like how pirates used to say shiver me timbers. <laughs> That's great. Okay, well, there doesn't seem to be anything else here. Except for the sleeping goblin person. Hello? Not waking up. Oh, there we go. Sorry for startling you. And uh, good morning. It can't be. It's actually morning right now. So, hey. Hi. Uh, just a moment. <clears throat> he seems odd. To Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Pleasure to be here. Vault number 12, I presume. <laughs> Precisely. The key. Mm -hmm. Your wife's port key. Yeah. Oh, yes, of course. There we go. This way, then. Stay close. I will, don't worry. Unless I see something interesting, then I'll definitely wander off. Wait, how do those things show up when you just whistle at them? Yay, we're going on a roller coaster! Woohoo! Keep your hands inside the cart if you don't wish to lose them. Yeah, I'd prefer to keep them if you don't mind. This is so cool. Yay! Hundreds. In fact, you see quite This is great. They should make an uh, attraction based on this. This is so cool. Maybe they have one already. I don't know if they do. A private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts. Imagine just like a roller coaster ride based on this. That would be so cool. Great wealth or power, or both could have arranged for such a a breath. A what? Uh oh. That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security. <laughs> Imagine you're on the roller coaster and it goes through water like that. These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? That's so cool. Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a that uh, doesn't today. sound uh, ominous at all, that it's in the deepest part. Well. Vault number. Vault 12. Momentous day. <laughs> hmm. He seems grumpy. On your way. Thank you. But I uh, am just as suspicious as she is, honestly. First time I played it too, I was like, wait, this guy doesn't seem to be uh, very... Uh... Yeah, that's exactly that. He seems very shady. Professor, hmm? the armband the guard was wearing was glowing. Like 
the glow you saw on the porky container. I did not even that notice that, by the way. I saw that same glow on the dragon's collar. Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering about that goblin back there. The he watches. Yeah, don't make it obvious. Section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. Huh. Can I? Yes, I can move. Great. Was accessed. <laughs> I love the way she walked down the stairs. Just doop, 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 doop. It's years. great. In that time, no one has visited Vault Twelve until today. This is so cool. Oh, sorry. Yeah, no, I'm here. <laughs> Keep on walking. Whoa, hey. Oh, come on! <laughs> I was so close! Oh, no. Thank you for your help. Can, can, can I get, get the, the chest first, please? Can I loot the chest? Yes, I can. Oh. Pretty sure I missed that the first time. Alright, well, this definitely doesn't seem like a trap. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might- The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Boy. Whoop. Best of luck. <laughs> Best of luck, thanks a lot, man. That was certainly unexpected. It certainly think. was, huh? There must be something here. Hmm. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand oh. and focus. Okay, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. Ah! We got it, okay. <laughs> Casrevelio, cool. There, oh, there is something. I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. Well, yeah, but I want to see what else is here. Nothing else. Okay. Wait, really? Nothing else? No chests or anything? No. No. Okay. Let's do it again. A door. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. Yeah. I don't suppose you see a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw in the portkey container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. I dare say Lead that too. Away. Investigate. Bling. Oh, this doesn't seem good. Lumos. This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? It's a trap, if you ask me. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. Okay, well... I love how our hair kind of looks like it's glowing. We gotta follow the leader. What's that noise? Huh. I see something up ahead. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. Okay. Here we go. This does not seem good, honestly. the glow it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about are you all right yes oh. sir, i'm fine you seem to have caused the floor to change that statue what statue i see some sort of statue but only as a reflection in the floor whoa what is that oh, that's the first time uh well not the first time this is the second time i 
seeing this glitch. I guess it's something with the hairstyle? I don't know. What is this glitch? There must be something to that reflection you're yeah, seeing. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm distracted by the glitch. I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. Do it, don't turn light this way. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait, when you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. Perhaps I should. Oh, there we go. Pew! Pew! Got it. Okay. So. Lumos. Well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It oh no. It does follow the light. Oh no. Um. Um. <laughs> Um, this does not seem good. And the glitch is still there. <laughs> oh god. Ah! Damn! Damn! He's strong! Pew 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 pew! Pew pew! <laughs> That's great. Oh god! Oh! Oh, I did not see... Okay, there we go. Ha! Ha! Oh god, I clicked it too late. Oh, we're still alive. So far, so good. I am close. Is there another one? That was it, okay. <laughs> Phew, we survived that. Oh. Uh oh, where is Professor? he? Professor Fig! Professor, where are you? This um isn't good. Where am I supposed to go? Yeah. Anyway, now that What's I can happening? Never mind. <laughs> the wisps of magic seem to be leaving somewhere. Yes, okay. <laughs> I know, anyways. Um, now that I can actually talk for a moment, <laughs> you might notice I am not wearing my usual headphones. They broke, unfortunately, and I don't have a new scream yet either. It's just really been very difficult for me to uh, gather enough money to get that all settled again. Um, mostly because I'm also still saving up for a driver's license. But yeah, I'm still able to like play games like this, but the gacha videos, I don't think I can make any of them right now, because I cannot see my full screen actually with the screen I'm using right now. Like the corners are cut, so I cannot see where the gacha character would go to if I were to move them to the corners. Which is obviously very uh, inconvenient. Oh, that's where they're leading me. That glow again. Woohoo, we're gonna fight again! This time I should use the Y button even more. Oh, never mind. Hang on. Lumos. Revelio. Revelio first. Do we point them towards each other? No, we don't. We point them this way. It seems I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of this. This is gonna be great. Pew, pew, pew! We got this! We got this! Oh god, there's another one. Isn't there? Hold Y, yeah, 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 I know. I, I just did that. I just, I literally just used stup stupefy. Ha! Ha ha ha! That honestly, wow. That almost hit me. Ah! Oh my goodness! I didn't mean to use the most, whoops! It's a little bit too early with that one. 
Come on, yes. Was that it? Is there another one? That was it, okay. Phew! Lumos. That went a lot better than the first time. We can sprint! Woohoo! That seems like an ominous thing to be sprinting towards. Oh god. Here we go again. Or not! Oh, that looks so cool. These doors look so cool, I swear. Like, you can go behind them. There's just, like, nothing. Just nothing. And then when you go on the side, it's just, like, a random room. Revenia. Pretty sure, yes, there's a chest here. Money! We're gonna need that. There's a chest over there, too. And that's it. Yeah. Okay, well. We got some money. Alright. Investigate. Let's see what we have here. Okay. Did you? How did I find this place? What is this place? I don't know. Honestly, no idea. But I found this yeah. floating above the basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder. Totally not distracted. Okay. Follow my lead. Sure will. Let's just stick our heads inside of a water thing. This looks so cool, though. I wonder if they're like in place. also like is well hidden. Perhaps too or were in like in Hogwarts, oh, these guys. The path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes. And if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. Interesting. That's, That's what you're seeing. The glow. That surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. That is kind of sad. You it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were all looked rather different in a different oh, no. moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in here. Oh, no. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. Oh. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. 
And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. You sure about that? Guess you don't seem very trustworthy. Uh, sir, they have the key to the vault. Thank you. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. Oh, no. I, I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have the Oh no. Wait, is he dead? I have no patience for traitors. That poor dude. No. Where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. Oh, I don't think so. Ooh. Ow. Well then. That seems uh, troublesome. <laughs> You're right there, Professor. Oh, Professor, run! Seriously, run! Oh, God. Yeah, run, dude! Oh, God. And jump! Or teleport, I guess. No, in that scenario, I'd be an idiot and think that that's one of those walk-through doors, and I would just run into the wall there. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Yeah, indeed. Where are we? It's probably why I was so cocky too, because he was um. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Indeed. I wonder what house we're going to be in. Oh, look at the train! It's so cool. And another barn owl. Adorable. I wonder if it's the same owl. It looks so cool. Oh, there we go. That is, uh, I guess the intro? already took half an hour but I'm going to be playing for longer than this obviously because this game is amazing and I think I can just literally like binge through at least the beginning of the game and then you know if there are more people who like it or you know watch the video then I might just you know play through the entire game I probably will anyway because it's just a fun game but you know We'll see. There's at least like eight hours of content that I do like plan on playing through even if people don't watch this. So there's like a solid eight hours of playthroughs already anyways. Um, I should also continue with uh, Pokemon Violet. Because I haven't continued that either, <laughs> the playthrough version. It's basically just because oh, lately good. there's been a lot we of things happening. The sorting ceremony. That's good. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Oh, that's so cool. Now, 
I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. Yeah. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Got it. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> he looks so mad. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I'm uh, getting uh, school vibes again. I'm jealous. Black. Prepare yourself to meet the headmaster. Hello. Fig. Nice of you to join us. <laughs> oh, the God. sorting ceremony is over. There were complications complications a dragon it seems the goblin Enough. problem has... goblins i've no time for rumors fig and i'm rapidly losing whatever patience i had there there was also a dragon <laughs> if you're lucky we might still be able to get you sorted this evening that would be very great if you could <clears throat> oh my god I'm look how determined she looks she's just like okay we're, we're doing this <laughs> This guy, I feel like he's one of those characters that might just seem very rough on the outside, but means well. Either that or he's actually evil. <laughs> it's hard to Professor tell. We've one more to be sorted. No, I think he means well, otherwise he wouldn't even Welcome. sort us right here. You're just in time. Have a seat. I think. Alright. Moment of truth. <laughs> Which uh, house are we going to join? Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? Yeah. You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. Uh, I can't wait to start class. Can't wait to explore. Hmm. I guess we're gonna say class. I'm looking forward to meeting my professors and learning all I can at Hogwarts. Indeed. Hogwarts has much to offer a dedicated student. We're gonna be in Raven Barbie. You learn in Though actually class will prepare you for challenges outside the classroom as well. Yeah. Mm. You're clever indeed. You have the ability to reflect. I don't want to be on Ravenclaw because I am in the other uh, game as well. So if he's going to say that, I'm just going to try again. Perhaps you belong in Ravenclaw, of course. You know, last time when I did this, I actually answered with I can't wait to um, no, explore. But then he also put me in Ravenclaw, so... Oh, we can choose? Oh god. Okay, uh, patience, loyalty, hard work, uh, daring, bravery, and chivalry. Uh, I want to save the Slytherin playthrough for another one, so it's gonna be one of these two. Any mini miny mo? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Oh god, I don't know. Hmm. Let's go for Hufflepuff because they're uh, kind of underrated. Because like I saw a post where they asked uh, who joined what, and Slytherin was number one with the most amount of people that joined. Next was uh, Gryffindor, and like Ravenclaw and Hufflepuff were like behind with like a couple thousand votes, kind of. And then Hufflepuff was like the lowest one. So let's let's give and Hufflepuff some some love here. Delayed your arrival here this evening. Yes. Except. Let's go for that one. Better be Hufflepuff. Yes, we're a proud badger. <laughs> but it's nothing. Yellow looks nice on her. Hooray. Oh, and one more thing. 
Due oh, no. to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Aww. You know, it's not as though I've banned flying altogether, huh? but don't tempt me. That's what I mean. You Someone got injured. On your and how he postponed interests. Quidditch altogether. I'm sure you will have I think he means well. Begin tomorrow. I have a feeling I he means said, well, but it's just. I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes <laughs> begin tomorrow. <laughs> this is very straight to the point. Let's let's describe him like that. I don't know if that's actually the case. Quite an entrance. But it's I don't know. Lovely to meet you. I'm Professor Weasley. Would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. I like how like the, the Weasley Lena chairs goes back one hundred years before the Harry Potter timeline. To your common room. Right this way. Thank you. I'm gonna like have two other playthroughs as well. One it's for like um, Slytherin and the other one for Gryffindor. Because sure there you, appear to be differences in other quests even, yeah. depending Here on how she ran. Not many, but like some side event? quests. I will explain Wait, really? You must tap the barrel, two from the bottom, middle of the second row, in the rhythm of Helga Hufflepuff. That's odd. I didn't know the entrance was like that. Do we have to do anything? Oh god. No, we don't. Okay. We did it! Well done. Now go on in and our, get our character did. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. I actually Thank like you. how the yellow colors look almost golden. Night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Thank you. It's like a golden heart, you know, like a, a nod to that. That's that's kind of cute. I like that. Oh wow, these common rooms are very different from the Ravenclaw ones. Oh, looks like everyone's gone. <laughs> that kind of reminds me of room. like Hobbit's vibes. Oh oh oh! Yes, just eat an apple. I love that you can interact with these things. Wait, is that candy? Oh my god, yes! <laughs> oh oh oh! Wrong candies. <laughs> Shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I should not have done that. Um, Alright, well, is there anything here? No, okay, this is just... This is so like the Hobbits! Oh, I love this! Look at this! Freaking lounge area! <laughs> Their common room looks so cool! This is so cool. Huh. Yeah. Different, huh? <laughs> oh my god, the sniffler in the painting! Yeah, it's so bad, right? Also, why not talk about someone behind their backs in a more secluded area where they cannot hear you? I suppose some introductions oh. are in order. Yes! All the foods. Nice. Okay, uh... Hello, who are you? You seem nice. Oh, hello. Hi. She's awfully regal, isn't she? Is that your owl? I don't know who she is. Likely one of the Hufflepuffs around here. Owls choose their own company anyway. Of course, Wait, all animals do. You're the new fifth year. Yes. Quite the dramatic entrance you made. I know, I can't great rates. wanting to call attention to yourself, especially since everyone will be watching to see how much you already know. <laughs> I'm not worried. <laughs> I'm really not worried. I'm sure I'll be fine. Nevertheless, it is rather unusual. You must feel terribly out of place. A little. Of course, 
Presumably, as a hard-working Hufflepuff, you'll prove yourself in no time. I'm hard-working too, as you might suspect. Obviously. Sometimes I think I should have been a Ravenclaw. I've rather a searing wit. <laughs> At least people have always told me so. I'm Lenore, by the way. Lenore Everly. Well, must That's a cool you. last name. You've such a lot to do. Uh. Do you let's really ask think more. you should have been in Ravenclaw? Well, my brothers were. They both work in the ministry now. I suppose you could say that wit runs in the family. My aunt was a Gryffindor, though, and I've always had plenty in common with her. Determination, valor, daring. The old sorting hat was spoiled for choice with me. <laughs> well, that's cool. It was nice meeting you, Lenora. Of course. Adieu. Oh, are you French? Okay, let's talk to this guy. You don't need to be frightened, little cat. Oh. Uh, I can't quite reach. Uh, oh, yep. Yeah. You went He's gone. Way. Hope they can catch him. Big castle for a student to get lost in, let alone a cat. <laughs> well, I'm cats sure can find their way. Right. I mean, it can be a bit overwhelming at first. I still get lost sometimes. <laughs> I probably Welcome will to too. Hufflepuff, by the way. Really glad to have you in our house. I'm Arthur. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Was that your cat? No, one of the first years, I think. Don't have any pets of my oh. own, unfortunately. My mother doesn't think too highly of them, especially magical ones. That's sad. Uh. Yeah, no, I think ma I'm magical sorry beasts to hear are that. incredible. I think magical beasts are rather incredible. Best yeah. thing about coming to Hogwarts. Nifflers, Glumbumbles, Bowdruggles. I thought they were only pictures in books before. Well, Dad did bring home a puff skein once. Really? Mom was furious. <laughs> anyway, I better go make sure the first years caught that cat. Don't want them to be late on their first day. That's so cool. Have you ever had Have a you pet? Ever had a pet, Arthur? No. My mother's a muggle, and as soon as the puff huh. that my dad brought home stuck its tongue up her nose, it went right back to the shop. <laughs> okay, that's nice funny. You, and good luck there was another friend. character that was Thank complaining you. about that in my Try other playthrough, <laughs> so that means itself. it happens more than once. Um, <laughs> interesting. Keep your nose away from those creatures. Mm. Hello. Oh, Uncle, this doesn't sound like you. Something's wrong. Oh, hello. You okay. There. You're the new Hufflepuff, yes? Yeah. I'm Adelaide. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Is everything all right? Exactly. Oh, yes. I'm just a bit distracted. Letter from my uncle. So tell me, I've been hearing all sorts of rumors. Were you really nearly gobbled up by a dragon? Uh, yes, actually. That one is true. Not the typical start to a new school. That's dreadful. Well, I'm glad you made it here alive. Yeah, well, anyway, me too. I imagine you have lots to do. I hope you have a wonderful first day. Thank you. Uh, is your uncle all right? Are you sure everything is all right with your uncle? Oh, yes. He travels for work, always busy. I'm sure he just wrote it in a rush. Um, nothing to worry about. Are you sure? Thank you, Adelaide. Be seeing you. Of course. I Ain't like her luck. name. It's such an interesting name. I've never heard of it before. Professor Weasley is waiting for them outside the common room. They're so nice! I'm starting to think Ravenclaw might actually not be my house. No, just kidding. I'm, I'm not nice enough for these people, I swear. Like, I try to be, but I'm by default not. So, yeah, there. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. That is now, true. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Hopefully. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. Owls. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. Huh. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. Oh. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, 
We've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Okay. Here you are. It still looks so cool. Magical book. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Definitely will. <laughs> so that's where she puts the book. Thank you, Professor. Just, that's it disappeared. What do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. Okay. Sure. Where are we going? This way. I'm following. Don't worry, I'm here. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding law. Oh, hey. Revelio. I certainly would have appreciated oh. something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Do keep up. <laughs> Sorry, I just knocked something over. Oh boy, I'm being stalked. Simply cast Revelio on it, and we'll see what the guide says. Bling. House Elf Recipe Book, Guide Pages. Rumored to contain some of Helga Hufflepuff's original creations, this book holds a collection of Hogwarts students' favorite recipes over centuries. Some dishes like pickled stew. <laughs> oh god. Dirigible plums. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Are likely in acquired taste. I'm being stalked. Give me a second. Ugh. No, okay, we're gonna ignore that one. Okay. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. And then we go over here, and then we can... Yes, okay, yes. Clever, isn't it? Yeah, very Keep cool. Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. Definitely will. Whee! We're gonna roll it later. Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. The Central Hall. Got it. Wait, what? Oh, now you want to go there? So we're traveling there, I'm assuming. <laughs> I'm assuming that's what we have to do. I kind of forgot this part. <laughs> Whether we actually have to travel or not, I think we did. Revelio will clearly highlight nearby enemies, interactive elements, and containers. Even through walls, I know, even through floors too sometimes, I think. Actually, I'm not too sure about that one. <laughs> it will also hint at the location of nearby Revelio pages. Great! People are making noise! <laughs> the professor. Yes, I'm here. Sorry, professor. There was uh, a lot of noise now outside, because uh, my neighbors are still building stuff, even though their house is pretty much complete. And it's been years. Hi. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. Looking forward to Defense Against the Dark Arts. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade 
as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Uh, charms what class. In charms class. Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. <laughs> I jinxes. think you'll enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. Okay. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of Defense Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become Auras. Fortunately, That's pretty cool. we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecat in charge of our students' education Hecate. in that regard. Okay. What's Hogsmeade? You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all wizarding village. Oh god, I'm gonna sneeze. And is home to a <coughs> of shops and pubs. You should be able to come in. all the supplies you require in Hogsmeade. I hope that wasn't loud. If it was, I'm gonna have to mute it. Butter beer there with friends in due course. Somehow. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day. And you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been Absolutely. terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. Absolutely nothing happened. Is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. Your suspicion is wrong. There isn't. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. I mean, he did teach me. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Thank you for the save, man. <laughs> must have been burning. Uh oh. Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic. That's one way to word it. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path Whoa, of the Whoa, the dialogue just skipped. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. Thank and you. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me. As I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today. And I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Okay, awesome. Hey, Fig. It's good to see you, Professor. <laughs> What's that? And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today. Before you immersed yourself in study. There's a flying page. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late arrival? <laughs> you did, sir. I did my best, but I'm fairly certain she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Yeah. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Probably. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guides map? Unfold sure. it and have a look. Okay, so...
The map is enchanted to help you find your way. That's this is really incredibly cool. helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds Honestly. like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. All right. Copy that. Oh, we can open this door. It's a little math problem, right? It's it, The number needs to become 21 when you add it up. And we already have 11, and that weird other sign. Now there was a cheat sheet somewhere, which I can sort of show here. I don't know if you guys can see it. I might just... Uh, <laughs> I don't know, post uh, the actual picture on my uh, community tab for you guys to find. But essentially, that weird creature on the top is the number 2. So that means that's 13. And we need 21. So we're gonna need 8! Right? Yes, 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 yes. An 8 is a spider. Uh... Spider, there we go. And then the other one is 17. Uh, the one below is number 9. The other one's number 5. So that already makes 14, so we just need 3. And 3 is the three headed snake. Uh, where was the other thing again? Wasn't it like up here or something? Yeah. Three headed snake. Got it. Yes! And that should open up the door for us. Should, theoretically speaking. Unless I'm bad at math. But we got it. And then there's a chest, which gives us goggles, and another chest, which gives us a Christmas tree. We got a Christmas tree, woohoo! Um, oh, we don't have to spell to get that, that one yet. Okay, well... We should probably open up our gear. This is cool. Uh, if you want to change the appearance of your gear, by the way, all you gotta do is like pr press like X, um, and then you can just change it to whatever you want. But it will still be equipped, so you'll still have the stats, which is great. Uh, yes. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> Why is this something... I could see Luna Lovegood wear. There we go. Um... Yes. <laughs> it's great. Okay, uh... I do have this too, by the way. Because I have, like, I sort of pre-ordered it, I guess? Well, not really. I bought it through Steam. But I bought it before the game came out, so I have like the extra thingies as well. Oh, this one's actually pretty cool. But I'm gonna wait until we have the, the scarf from our house. And this one's of course already equipped. As well as this one. Which I don't think we have much else yet, except for oh, we actually do. We have this one still, and uh, this one. Huh. What about this one then? Oh, we do. This is the one we're wearing. This is another one, and we get this one. <laughs> I like this one most for. Her. Um. Anything else that's new? Collections. Yes, over here somewhere. The Christmas tree. <laughs> and here. And that's it for now. We don't have a lot yet because we just started, obviously. Um, and here you can see your quests. Pretty cool. Okay, so. I have been recording for an hour now. I'm going to actually take part in these classes. 
And then I'm going to stop the episode for now and start a new one. Um, probably right after, because uh, I'm having a blast playing this. Absolutely. Hello. I'm just that random kid that just runs across the hallway and just screams hello at everybody who, pa who passes me. Yes. Yes! Ooh. <laughs> oh, that ain't good. Professor Hackett! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces in your own time. <laughs> I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black star. <laughs> <laughs> She's just like students are replaceable. Made of 1878, no doubt you've heard <laughs> this coin. Uh, you I like her. Asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poke during in Eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. I kind of um, knowledge, huh? To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso. A levitation charm. Levioso. A surprise <laughs> opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now. Let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Bring it on! I'm ready! Oh god! Uh... Got it. <laughs> I got it. Woohoo! And it doesn't explode! Hooray! <laughs> I wonder if it can explode if you do it wrong. Oh. Am I like the only- oh, I'm not the only Hufflepuff. There's another one in the background. I was just wondering, am I the only Hufflepuff in this class? But no. Okay. Let us begin with a basic cast. Yeah, we need to- Wait, basic cast, you just want me to do this? See how the dummy deflected your cast. This yes. time, cast Levioso first. Okay. Then the basic cast. Okay, Remember, got it. A surprise. No, no, no. Now, well done. Pew, pew, pew. Got it. Uh. Very good. But <laughs> the way the, the dummy dropped way down. Is by uh oh. We'll start with you two. Duelist, take your marks. Uh oh. Proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, I want <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. Basic cast. Okay, I did not hear that the first time I played through this game. So. Pew, 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 pew! Bring it on. Oh, I knocked him off. I okay, so the first time I played through this game, Not bad for a beginner. <laughs> I accidentally, as good as like, you get. I didn't know I was supposed to attack him, so I only defended and used the, the new spell to make him levitate. And it was like that for a while, and he was unable to damage me, and I just... Points to Hufflepuff. Thank you, it was pretty awful, because I felt like I was just playing around with him once I realized, like, oh, I'm supposed to deck him. We can expect great things. <laughs> felt so mean. I demand excellence. I didn't mean to be that mean. They are capable That's funny. of achieving it, and they must achieve But also, like, mean. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, oh, yeah. is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Grindelows. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. I need to read the, re -read the books again. For you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. Thank All you. Right. That's enough spectacle for one day. 
Class is dismissed. Hi. I'd hate to face Professor Hecate in a duel. So me too. <laughs> that was a bit of Dutch in there, my goodness. The way I said so. You've drilled Sebastian. He's strong competition. Well done. Thank you. Hey. How does it feel to be nice beaten? Work. I enjoyed that. Well that I did. was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. I mean oh, again, I'm too mean to be helpful. <laughs> My first response like being like, how does it feel to be beaten? Sebastian Sala, oh. by the way. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. It was. In fact, it was. It was. Perhaps I have a knack for it. Be coy if you like, but I know better. Magic requires intention and talent. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Keep talking. That sounds interesting. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you yeah. want to get the most out of your I'm time like the, at Hogwarts, you're the only to mean Hufflepuff. The rules now and then. <laughs> Whether it's joining a secret dueling club. I mean, as a room clock, I just say like, "Hey, I wanna, I want to learn everything there is, even if it is against the rules." But uh. Sebastian, I'll keep that in mind. Good. That's a Hufflepuff, you're, you're supposed to be like very sure loyal and stuff. I mean, I guess you could see this being loyal to this guy. We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. Will do. If you're interested. I should probably stop talking. Stop talking when these guys are talking. <laughs> uh, it's probably confusing for you guys. I don't know. Sounds shouldn't be too loud. Off on another adventure, are we? Absolutely. You know what's also funny? I'm not gonna do it now, but you can attack this skeleton thing. And then repair it once you have the repairing spell. Which is why I'm not gonna do it now. <laughs> because I wanna be able to repair it at least. Isn't there like a a flame thingy over here? Or is it like downstairs? It's probably downstairs, isn't it? Ah, uh, we'll find it eventually. Let's uh just go straight to where we need to be. Yeah, charms class. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Hello. Uh, upstairs. Oh, oh god! Don't murder him, even though you're already ghosts! <laughs> that poor guy. Unless he's the reason why she died. In that case, go for it. <laughs> Revenge. Aww. Um, oh. I passed by the classroom. Alright, let's begin. Here. Behind you. There is an open seat here. Thank you. Indeed, Hello. thank you. I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <coughs> no, I haven't. But I will now. Shall we begin? Yes. <laughs> Welcome to year five of Chant. Now, he this seems very excited. In your education on the art of charm work. But I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Uh. Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Oh no. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing Obliviate on one another. 
<laughs> That's actually a funny joke. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Sorry. <laughs> New mm. Year. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt object. The steam so song fits them so well. <laughs> and they turn so some of them out of one That's another's great. hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh god. Got it. Akio. We now we can collect the page that we saw flying earlier. You are a swift learner. Thank you. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. <laughs> After me! The student is such a fun teacher, actually. Like, it's, it's fun when you have teachers that are just like, you know what, it's a nice day outside, let's go do something outside for our class, you know? It's, it's kind of nice. There aren't a whole lot of teachers that do that. Like, it mixes things up every now and then. Sometimes it's even better if you ask me than sitting inside of a stuffy classroom. I mean, with fresh air, it's so much easier to, to concentrate for me. If it's stuffy, I just feel sleepy. Not me being distracted. <laughs> uh, I'm always distracted. <laughs> it's my uh, ADD. Hi. I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> 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 so why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? Sure. <laughs> oh god. Uh Do I remember how to do this correctly? Very simply cast Akio on one of the spheres and splendid. Ah, uh, too far. Think of this like Stop. Excellent control there. Okay. I think I got it. If we stop here, it should be fine. Yes, okay, we got it. <laughs> we got it. <laughs> Very good. Points to Hufflepuff. Thank you. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Absolutely. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. I bet that's his favorite student. <laughs> You'll be the blues just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes. Yes, sir. <laughs> I like blue. Yes, okay. We can knock her balls off, by the way. It's just kind of um. That is how it's done. Mean. But watch. Okay, we're being nice about this. Okay, good. Don't knock me off. If you do that, I'm gonna knock you off too. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Which one am I controlling? This one. Okay. Let's stand over here. Got it. All right, it's like halfway throughout the orange one is where I need to let go. Okay. 
Wow, she was doing way better in my first playthrough. She like kept hitting the 50 as well and we had a tie eventually. And then we had to like... E okay. Got it. Yes. But then we had to like do another uh, round because we tied. And in that round there were like boxes added. To make Let it more difficult. A bit more interesting, okay, he's gonna add it anyway. So we're gonna go for another round anyway. Okay. <laughs> yes, there we go. <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Visha. Settles it all, so the other round wasn't even necessary to win. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> okay, which one are we controlling? The first one? Yes, the first one, okay. Eee! <laughs> okay, well... Oh, that one's a good one. Yeah, it's gonna hit blue. Oh no! <laughs> okay. Okay. A little bit further! Thank you. Oh, we're tied. Oh. Well, that's still a good score. Oh no. Yes! How am I gonna... How am I gonna do this? Without knocking either of us... Away. I know everyone okay. Is but try not to be nervous. Yeah, you're making me nervous! Don't say that! Oh god! Eh, no! Not to worry. Uh, well, you won. I won in the, the first playthrough, but yeah, no, you won. I didn't want to knock her off. Very or myself. Good, both of you. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> Better luck next time. <laughs> but that was fun. Class is dismissed. Either Gather way. Your things on the way out. That's kind of nice. Now I know that you don't have to well win. Done back there. You took the loss in stride. Didn't want to go too easy on you. Took yeah, no, it's fine. To become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. She's so nice. That's yeah, sure. good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly. I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. That's before interesting. Met, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Okay, so yeah, how big is the school? Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts. <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, that sounds interesting. Bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. That's cool. So what does it look like? It's a castle like Hogwarts. Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. That's pretty cool. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. That's cool. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. That's incredible. You can cast spells without a Honestly, that's oh, very yes. helpful. If you lose your wand, you can just continue to cast magic. To much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. 
Exactly oh, that. Admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. You think? How can you tell? He's just standing in the background. Better not keep him waiting, but I am going to talk with others. Professor Ronan reminds me of my grandfather. Yeah, clothing, be a little. Better. Though After my grandfather my is more serious. Charm, it was constant Accio this, Accio that, cutlery flying everywhere. Quite unsafe, really. <laughs> okay, hello. You wanted to speak with me, Professor. I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation. Well, sure. an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. But it's What's fun. Charm it's better. better than the expected. Miss Onai is a talented witch. Take it in stride. One often gains the most from the battles one has lost. That of is course, true. Professor. It was a challenging match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor. Though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now... Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. <laughs> okay, so... Um, I'm having way too much fun with this. Whoops, upstairs anyway. I don't think I've ever been there. Oh, a locked door. Okay, got it. Hello there. You're the new student, aren't you? Yes, I am. Hello. You wanted to speak to me. Samantha Dale. I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. <laughs> Hope your first day's going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. That's very kind of you. I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. <laughs> Oof. There's set to be a chest here, but Rebellion. I don't see a chest. I do hear a pling, though. Oh, cats! We have to pet the cats. I'm sorry, we just have to. They're adorable. Okay, done that. Um. Oh, hello. Okay. Uh, yes, reveal. Okay, so we need two. When two was, I believe. Oh god. Ah! Hang on. There we go. Two, what's the weird creature? I, wrong button. <laughs> this one, yes, that's two. Um, the other one is twelve, and it has four and one, so it has five. In other words, we need to add seven. And seven is a weird creature. <laughs> like so many others. No, 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 no. Oh, God. Good thing I heard that. Uh, it was... Which one was it? Which one was it? Two. It was two. Yes, two. Got it. Ah, we have a scarf. And we have a mirror. Huh. I believe the loots are different in this save file. So it's random loot, but root that is still skill to your level, I guess. It's pretty interesting. I actually like this scarf. That's kind of cute. Okay, collection. Um, yes. 
story. I got ooh. Yes. We have some new gloves. Um Yeah, no, it's just a look for the gloves that we got. Mm, which I think was this one. So these and we have these. But we're gonna go without for now. Uh more collections. <laughs> Okay, uh, crossed once, round one. Let's do it. But not now, because I've been recording for one and a half hour. So yeah, I'm gonna save right here. And... Settings. <laughs> we will continue this in the next episode. As always, have an awesome day slash night, and I hope to see you in the next episode.